So we're going to find the average velocity on this curve, this cubic curve, from t equals 1 to t equals 2. So we're just going to substitute in those values. So let's see, what do we get? 2 cubed is 8, plus 2 squared is 4, minus 2 minus 1, so that's the f of 2, minus, let's see, if we substitute in 1, we're going to get 1 cubed plus 1 cubed is 2, minus 1, and then minus another one is going to be 0. Well, that's handy. All over 1. Now we're just going to do this arithmetic. Let's see, 8 plus 4 is 12, minus 2 is 10, minus 1 is 9. So it's 9 feet per second. And we're going to go on now and do the instantaneous rate. Okay, for this one with that's got a cubic uh, function that we get to deal with. Same deal, we want to find the instantaneous velocity when t equals one second, so I substituted in the f of a, a plus h, and if a is one, I want one plus h, and every place I saw a, um, every place I saw a t, I substituted in the one plus h, okay, the minus one, and then for the last part, the minus f of one is, is zero, and over h, I wrote the limit. Now, because this is a long problem, what I did is I knew I had to expand 1 plus h to the third power. I did that here, and I, sh I, did, I could have done it all out, but I also used the shortcut that I showed you in class on Friday, or if you're watching this Thursday night, you haven't seen that shortcut yet, but using Pascal's triangle. And then the squared is pretty self-explanatory, and the, then that I just distributed through and then I have that negative 1 in the end here, up here, right? That negative 1. Oh, I'm messing everything up here. Here we go. So then I just combined all those terms, and that's what the f of um, 1 plus h all boils down to. Okay, and then both my limit expression with that expression in the numerator over h. And I still am going to get an indeterminate form if I substitute in 0. So I have to try to factor out an h, try to get rid of that. So h times 4 plus 4h squared. Whoops, not squared. Plus h squared in the end. All over h. I can cancel out that h. So now, final answer, drum roll please. I have 4 plus 4h plus h squared. If I substitute in 0 right now, that's gone, that's gone, I'm left with 4. So the instantaneous velocity is 4, four feet per second. Okay, so we'll learn easier methods shortly, but for right now, we've got to use this.